In this video, we'll look about why it's important to release importance when it comes to creating and manifesting what you want. Because you probably notice in your life when you care too much, when you try to force things, when you become needy or when you push against things, it slows down and usually it can even create the opposite of what you're trying to create. So let's have a look into this. Now, have you ever been in a situation where you have to do something, something pretty easy, something you've done many times, and this time you're kind of like under pressure, or maybe people are watching you, or maybe you put a lot of you know, emphasis, like I have to get it right. You know, maybe it's like feeding a bottle of water into another bottle of water, and usually you can do it pretty smoothly, right? But when you become tense, and when you really, really try hard not to spill, what happens usually? You end up spilling and messing up, right? And it's the same when I'm driving my bike in traffic. When I'm tense, when I really try, like, you know, when you go between cars, when you really try hard not to uh, lose your balance or whatever, you, you become tense and that's when you, you actually most likely will lose balance. But when you relax, you go smoothly. You don't even think about it. You, you're, you're just driving through the traffic with the flow of it. The same might be true when you do a YouTube video or when you do a presentation. You know, when you can talk in front of your friend about something that you care about and it's easy and it's effortless and then you go in front of a room with people you don't know and you, uh, you try so hard and you freeze and you forget everything and it turns to shit and wow. So what's happening here? You know, there's something called the law of reverse effort, meaning that the less you care, the less you but importance, the less needy you are about a particular thing, the easier and the faster it comes in your life. It's like the path of least resistance. And we all have experience about this in our life. I know I have a lot. You know, you want something, you think about it, and you're like, huh, that would be great. But you're not like needy about it. You don't desperately need it. It'd be just great kind of thing. And then it slips out of your mind. And a few days later, or very soon after that, it kind of just pops up. You know, whether in an opportunity or something happened and it just, boom, it's here. And you're like, shit, what? I was just thinking that that would be so cool. Have you ever been in a situation like that? It's amazing. And so we have to learn from these two things. Because when we care too much, when we become needy, when we become obsessed, when we really try so hard to manifest something, we go into a particular state. I really want you to pay attention because this is so important. We go into a state and that state is not a state of, you know, oh, I got it. It's good. It's, we go into a state of, oh my God, I need to force it. Why is it not happening? What do I need to do? I need to try harder, work harder, push through it, force it, figure out the how, the why. Uh, you, you know, we become tense. We become obsessed. And when we are needy, we repel. We repel what we want. And often, because we're so focused on what we don't have, we're so focused on why it's not happening, we end up working against us. And the reason is that we are not okay with not having that thing in our life right now. That's the resistance. That's why we want it so much. We become obsessed because we feel like if I don't have it, something's missing. I'm not complete or I don't have that feeling or... You know, I feel like maybe I'm, I'm not worthy on some level or whatever that feeling, you know. So I feel like when I have it, then ah, relief, then life will be good <laughs> kind of thing. <laughs> so that importance is blocking the flow of creative power that we have within us. All the ideas, all the things that could move freely through us and with us when we take action and do things is being blocked because we consciously trying so hard to, you know, manipulate and control things and we are control freaks. And this blocks the flow of energy because our resistance is where we put our energy is in what we are actually manif you know, manifesting in some way. And so everything becomes slower and it drags on and the more we focus on it, the more we have evidence to support why it's not working. And then it creates doubt, anxiety, worry, blah, blah, blah. So when we are needy, we repel. But when we are whole, when we are complete, we attract and we attract easily. And that's why earlier I asked you, have you ever been in a situation when you didn't really care? 
you were happy with what you have. You were just doing your thing and whew, like things happen in a situation that allow you to move and get that thing or that person or whatever. So what's the solution there? The solution is to release the importance toward the thing, the, whatever you're trying to create in your life, whatever goal, whatever desire you're trying to bring to life. And how do you do that? By being okay where you are right now without having it. And I know it's tough because when you have a goal and a desire, of course you want it, right? But the paradox is that if you can feel happy, complete right now and still have the desire for whatever it is, then you don't have any resistance against where you are right now. Meaning you're not, if you're flowing, you're flowing with life. But the moment you have a resistance, you are trying to paddle against the current because where I am is not okay and I need to get someplace else kind of thing. So you need to not only address the emotion of resistance, but also the thoughts that are behind it so that you can really lessen and become neutral. When you think about what you want, not having it right now, you just feel neutral. You feel like, huh, it's okay. I know it will come in due time. And you can have that neutrality. That's when you know the resistance is gone. Think about other things in your life as well that you do and that are easy, effortless, that you don't really think about it. You just do and you bring to life and you create. That's the kind of state because you already know how to do it. And it's just a mindset. It's just getting into that state. And you already know how to do it. So look at all the things in your life where you don't care so much and replicate that state. Find out why you don't care so much and then redo the same thing. All of us have different reasons why we're resisting, why we want certain things, why we're obsessed, why we feel needy against it. But when we deal with the resistance first and we let it go, and we let it go. And I made a video about how to let go a couple of days ago. So check the channel that could really, really help you speed up your manifestation in a way that's faster and smoother. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Relax, know what you want, and then let the creative power between you bring exactly what you need for you to take the steps and the action that are necessary to manifest what you want and bring your goals to life. Let's go. I will see you next time in my video. Please like, share, subscribe as always. Be well.